Um, I got a request from a YouTube user, and the person wanted me to demonstrate me actually using the Corel Video Studio 11 Plus editing software. And I don't have a problem with it. I think it'd be a good idea. It'll show that person how I do my videos when using it when needed. I only use it for this camcorder here. It's the Canon H. G10 high definition, which that software Pinnacle and U Lead Video Studio 11 Plus softwares are good for basically standard definitions and high definitions. Pinnacle I also use and Corel U Lead Video Studio because they don't have a problem with the A A V C H D format. Actually, it pulls it through pretty good, and I'm using a like a, almost a five-year-old laptop on my left side over here which you see in a minute but this is what I do normally nothing special nothing hiding or anything like that I didn't do anything before the video was done I'm gonna show you how I do it from scratch so here we go you can see first you have to have it plugged in the AC adapter with the battery it won't let you do it you get an error message please plug your AC adapter in I guess you use a lot of power maybe or they don't want you the battery to die out when you are going to video edit so this is going to have to probably be more than one segment maybe two or three parts the most but let me get to it right now okay first you open up the door I just take my normal USB cable come on now just like that and see then I'll come over here and I'll plug it in one of here, one of these. I guess I'll use a second one. Sometimes I'm just painting it in. Because it might be some, I don't know why I did that. Why did you do this? I got it in right. It's like it doesn't open up. It's like, I don't know, it's really odd. Okay, you guys see it there, it's there. You can see it's plugged in there. And also, it's there okay here we go now next thing you do is turn the cam quarter on just go once on it turns on okay second time playback mode which shows two thumbnails Okay, you can see why the camcorder is connected. Do not discon disconnect the USK USB cable or power source. Cannot turn off power. You can do that. I don't know what they're talking about. I've done it many times. I'm plugging this when I'm done video editing. Now you can see over here. Now if you take a look on my screen now. I know you can't see, so I'm going to move the tripod over here now. This is going to be working now right here you probably can't see it well I apologize for this maybe you can hold on guys let me get this thing persistent right okay what popped up on my on my screen here is the AVCHD folder I just copy it right click copy it I paste it on my desktop which is going over here you can see it's copying it may take a little longer than expected so let me pause this and then when it's done you see where that mouse error is it'll be it'll be copy there so let me pause this be right back okay guys let you know we're still copying so when this continues doing what it's doing I'll right, be right back and like I said it'll be on my desktop and then I'll continue from that point okay guys a couple more seconds you will see it'll be done copying and you can see right over there like I mentioned it's gonna be on this side now all I do is close this out. Now go over here. 
the camcorder. Turn it off now. No need for that to be used. We're not going to be working now no more. Now, unplug it from the computer. We're going to only be working with this file. Okay. So let me just my tripod over here. Okay, that's off now. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, here we go now. This is where it gets to be the part that we got to work on. Straighten my laptop out now. Okay. Over here you can see, where do I have it now? Right here. Right here. It says, you, you lead Video Studio 11 Plus. Click on it. And it'll open up. It takes a little bit of time. I don't want to be in the video, but that's the way my TFT whatever screen does now. Here it is. This is where I do now. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm going to just click on 16 by 9 for the ratio. Yep. Project 16 by 9 widescreen mode. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. <clears throat> Apologize for that. But I use it more often than I expect. Then we go up on the top here where it says Video Studio Editor. Click on it. Okay guys, up on the top toolbar you got File, Edit, Clip, Tools, Capture, Video, Edit, Effect, Overlay, Title. Okay. Like I said, overlay, title, audio, and share. You probably can't see those from that distance because my cam... Okay, there we go. Sometimes it works good in the light, some in um, dark areas, sometimes it don't. By the way, this ain't the Canon FS100. See all those tabs on a toolbar on top? That's what you got. And you got some like little video clips here for editing in your video. You have... You have right down here, you can pull this down and you get video, image, audio, color, transaction as my favorite 3D album, build, clock, FX, film, flashback, mask, peel, and so many other ones. I don't use those at all. Here you got video filter. You got title. Decoration, object, frame, flash, animation, library, manager. I don't do none of that. Now, here's what we do. I go over here where it says file. Okay? You can see that right here. Far left corner, file. I go to where it says insert media file to timeline. You have to insert DVD slash DVD VR click on it Oh wait a minute. This is an old video here like, Okay, like I mentioned you have to go to file Insert media file to timeline insert DVD slash DV slash V VR click on that Then you have this menu box pop up this window pop up. You have to import DVD folder. Okay? Now you'll see it. This AVCHD folder is on my desktop. Don't click the plus sign. Leave it alone. Strictly click on the AVCHD folder. Highlight it. Hit OK. And you can see I have one clip. It'll show in here. Let's see. Yes, see. That was the winter storm. Let me get my thing adjusted here. You probably can't see it. I'm running out of time, guys. It's almost 10 minutes. I have to do another segment. Hit video. The next clip. You can see that one, I think. And then the last one. Okay, yes, you can see that one. Now, you have to import. Now, you're importing it. Importing it on your screen here.